You know, America, it's a dismal time when we give up on our friends overseas. And make no mistake, there's only one friend the United States has got in the Middle East, and it's Israel. They're not our friend because of faith. They're not our friend because of economic trade. They're not our friend because of military support. They're our friend because they're the only freedom-loving country in the region. And we, as world leaders, need to be more than just a voice that sounds like a whisper. America used to stand strong with leaders who would stand strong and look to our friends and support them when they, in their times of need, not run away or turn a blind eye. America, Israel's our friend. Israel's the friend of freedom, the friend of liberty, and the friend of anybody that is tolerant and acceptance in the region. They're not our friends because we're a Christian nation or we're a Jewish nation or we're a Protestant nation or a Catholic nation. They're our friends because they understand freedom. In fact, in Israel today, 20% of their population are Arabs. Yet, Arabs that live in other countries that are not oil producing, of all the Arabs globally, the 20% in Israel have the highest standard of living. Understanding this means we understand that liberty and freedom means prosperity. And friends that support that internationally are our friends. And we need to support them every way we can. Israel is our peer in liberty. They're our friend forever, and they're the strength and the backbone that carry on the values and principles that makes America strong today.